Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'll show you side-by-side -side comparison of Logitech G502 Hero versus a Razer Basilisk version 2. This is just an information video about the specs of these products and if you want to know the actual prices check links in the description down below. The Razer Basilisk uh, version 2 is a better wired mouse than the uh, 502 Hero. It's a bit lighter and its cable is uh, noticeable better as well. Uh, as it doesn't create as much drag. The Razer is also a bit more comfortable to use. On the other hand, you can unlock the Logitech scroll wheel for infinite scrolling, which the Razer, Razer can't do. Also, the Logitech software is available for macOS, while Razer Synapse 3 isn't. Straight away, you will notice in some uh, differences that this uh, mouse is, they look quite the same, or not not the same, but you can see this, some resemblance. For FPS, it's still uh, Basilisk version 2 better. And I would say uh, for MMOs, G502 winning only by uh, the number of, of buttons that you can use. Uh, because the G502 got one more button to, uh, to play with. For travel and ultralight gaming, uh, those specs, I would say, for those two mice are quite, quite the same. Obviously, uh, Basilisk is a bit lighter, but for traveling, both of them got cables. So that's really pain in the arse uh, for travelers. Uh, and this is, the, this is the difference. Basilisk version 2 is 127 grams uh, heavy or 96 without a cable if you want to uh, scratch that out and 170 and 143 grams without a cable for G502. When you take a look uh, from above uh, they are not that different and uh, pretty much the volume is the same. The basilisk is even a bit smaller but on this photo, this is not a good, <laughs> this is not a good ratio. Uh, they fit all uh, hand sizes, even the small with a palm grip. The 502 maybe isn't uh, very good for small-handed people. As you can see, park or the like uh, cable type, uh, but you don't get any weights uh, with basilisk. You have to use it as it is. But with G502 you can adjust it. To the sensors, uh, G502 Hero is obviously using Hero 25K with starting of 100 CPI and maxing 25,600, adjusting every 50. Uh, for uh, Focus Plus on Basilisk, it's 100 CPI starting, uh, topping 20K and adjusting at 50 CPI. As you can see, the button difference is just by one. And also, both of them got three wheels for infinite scrolling. Click latency is better at Basilisk, so that's why it's even better for some FPS gaming as well. As I said before, G Hub, uh, Logitech G Hub with G502 is fully compatible with macOS and Basilisk Synapse is mm, compatible just partially. In my opinion, I'm a huge fan of Razer, so I would obviously go with uh, this variant only because of the latency clicks and I like the Ergo more on Basilisk. Let you guys share your opinion in the comment. What's your thoughts on these products? Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.